set up for uh, modding, BIOS modding the, the GPUs right here. Uh, motherboard, uh, we connect us Ethernet connection here. Um, the um, monitor, and here's the keyboard. Power for the power supply and uh, the connection for the motherboard, the 12 volts and the 24 pin connection here and uh, we also plug in the uh, uh, GPU that to be modded and we put in also the, the connection here for the 24 volt power and uh, it has a mouse it has also the uh, the <coughs> SD hard drive and the monitor so this is how you connect everything to, to get together and uh, it will start in the beginning uh, there's no power to the motherboard after we plug the plug the GPU in we uh, uh, turn on the power the GPU is run, uh, the motherboard is running and uh, we will wait for windows to uh, pop up there's windows and welcome to the uh, mining uh, GPU mod and here we have uh, this Uh, this program here, this is the flashing, the, uh, the BIOS flasher, the API flasher. You have to run it as administrator. Run it as, run as administrator. Okay. Then it comes up this way. Just say yes. Then this is what you see. And then we save. It, it actually pulls a, pulls the BIOS of the the original BIOS of the uh, of this card that you're under test. You save, and then you go to mining tools, and you see BIOS right there. And we have to let, take a look at the uh, um, <coughs> the uh, what you call this the serial number for this card. <coughs> it doesn't look like it has a serial number here, so uh, I will just put sapphire. So I'll click on any of these original and. I'll type Sapphire. I'll type Sapphire. I'll type Sapphire. Uh, normally, you need to type the last four digits of the um, the serial number, like these guys here has been modded already so I'm saving the original BIOS of this um, uh, GPU and since I don't see the mod the, um, I don't see the uh, uh, serial number is probably underneath somewhere I just type sapphire for now and original BIOS dot wrong then I save so we are saving the the BIOS and it says the BIOS image has been saved so we save that say cancel and now we go here to uh, Polaris BIOS this is the one that uh, modifies the BIOS and it comes out like this you this message from the developer just say yes and now you have these the Polaris BIOS 
editor, you open BIOS, and you look for Sapphire. There you go. You want to open this the BIOS for the Sapphire because this is the bi original original BIOS for from the GPU that we just loaded in, and we open it up. These are the the information in the BIOS here. Yeah. And this uh, Polaris is a one-click timing patch to modify the BIOS. You click that once, and this thing comes out. Say OK and OK. Sometimes you only, it only gets I to ask for one OK. Some uh, brands of GPU. So now you then save as. Okay. We'll save as Sapphire and we change this one to Mod. We change it now to to Mod. Okay. So that's modded BIOS right there, and we save. Then we go back to, we can close this now. We go back to the, the API flasher. We load image. We, now we're gonna load the new, we go to mining tools, okay, and BIOS. We now load the new modded one. See so you up here, modded and original. The sapphire. So we just load the, the modded one. And then open. And then this is now, it, it's now here. It sees that, the modded one. And then you program. This is to flash. And you wait for a couple of minutes until it tells you it's all done. Sometimes you will see a uh, another window saying, you know, the progress of it uh, flashing, or most of the time it'll just have this kind of Im um, image here and it'll say, okay, BIOS was programmed successfully. Then we click okay. And uh, you have to reboot, say yes. When I say yes, uh, before I say yes, I will put in SMOS. I'll put in SMOS in, in one of the uh, USB ports. Then I'll say yes. When it turns off, and this is the hard this is the drive I'm gonna take out this drive take out see I took out that one so the Windows drive is not anymore there and it's gonna load up SMOS this is to verify um, the uh, whether the, mo the mod worked and this is SMOS now it's loading up so uh, so SMOS is here loading it detects the uh, card, the only one card here and You will see the speed once it finds a job.
now the speed is 24.439 uh, it was uh, about 22 or 21 before so it has been properly modded this is how I know it's properly modded that's that is the reason why we need to connect the Ethernet cable so that we could uh, test it using SMOS see right there okay from here then I can just power off power off and then take our um, GPU out it has been modded already and then we're good to go thank you